Hello, everyone. This is Lam here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do an open cup, but instead of a regular open cup, which is usually on a white pillow, or if you're more adventurous, you can use a solid color pillow. But today, I'm actually going to do a flip cup as a pillow because I want to see what happens. I have not seen anyone done it before, and I certainly not done it myself. So I want to give it a try. Now I'm going to use pretty much the same colors as the background colors from my roses on cream painting, which is um, very light gold and some cream and like pastel colors. Very light pink and peaches and cream and pale green some light lavender and now list the colors and the paints in the description box and here i'm just laying in the cup now flip This makes a nice petal. I'm going to torch it a little bit first. Now here is my open cup. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Well, not right in the middle, but somewhere close to the middle. Then I'm going to do my colors. And for contrast, I use deeper colors. This is deep violet, neon purple, and then more violet. Actually, I think that's chromos more metal purple, and then some. From a small metal red. And I'm actually putting some white pearl in there. And this is chroma small metal green. And then some metallic leaf green. Before I lift the cup, I decided to take my bamboo stick and start racking it. And because there is a nice halo around the open cup, which is really good. But then it always looks like a round shape and that's looked a little bit too dull for me and I want to create some interest. Then I swell the cup a little bit to mix the color a little bit more before I lift it up. Then I decided to rack it some more. And there's not anything in particular that I was planning on doing because at this point I had no plan. Before we till, we really can have any specific plan of what is going to happen we don't know but i'm just trying to mix things up a little bit so that it doesn't look like too solid in the middle now is the tilt There 
there's nothing special about the two things just trying to cover all the corners because at this point I really have no idea what it's going to look like what's going to happen how the colors are going to mix because I have none I have not done this before. So far it's looking nice. Mostly the dark color is dominant. And it's kind of looking like a pond or river or a weather radar, you name it. And I am really liking some red lacings at the you know the upper right corner there there's some really nice red lacings going on and there are some very fine lines of red right between the green and the blue and I'm really liking that because usually if you have red and green together it will turn to brown or mud but this time, they are actually very delicately um, positioned. Those red lines are so fine and they are not mixed in with the greens at all. The colors stay pure. So I think that's really nice. And what I think is that red lacing, I think it is the Chroma's Molten Metal Red. Because this is the first painting that I get this kind of red lacing, but pretty much every time I use the Chroma's Molten Metal Red, after that I get similar kind of lacings. So I think it's that particular paint, and I really like that paint. And at this point, I am pretty happy with most of the composition. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it looks pretty. The color distribution is pretty. What I have problem with is this band of pink at the lower right corner there. It looks out of place and it looks boring. It looks too solid and no transparency. There are some cells there that I like, but still I decided to do something about it so I put some white pearl down you know just a line like that I could do cupping or I could do balloon roll but this time I decided to do something different or something easier so I'm just like putting down some white pearl and then I take my bamboo stick and start making leaves. See, I'm just swirling in there. And this is a relatively easy and foolproof way to add interest to your painting without a tremendous amount of work. You see, that goes relatively fast. I'm just basically putting down a line of paint and then racking it with a bamboo stick. And this way it is relatively easy to control. See, I'm just drawing out the points of those leaves. And it is a pretty simple process. You can do it anywhere in your painting. You can put it anywhere you like it. In shapes and forms you like it. And you don't have to do a curve or a straight line like I do. You can do a circle or make a wreath if you want.
And a lot of times, if there is one section of the painting that I don't like, like for example here, I don't like the pink, then I can use this simple method to cover up. And in this case, I'm not completely covering up because that pink still has some purpose. It still shows contrast. It is just, I don't want too much of it showing. So I am just trying to break up that pink a little. I did one vine or leaf. And I'm tilting it a little just to get it to get the curve to soften up a little because it was too straight for me. Then I look at it and think about it some more. Okay, after much thinking, I decided that one line of vine is not enough and I need to cover up more of the pink. So I am doing another one. Actually, I decided to do two more. So I put more white down, that's the white pearl, and should be enough. See there's a constant there's a constant struggle for me to try to do something to my painting and not to overdo it because I do tend to overdo things. I like my composition to have a lot going on but sometimes it gets too busy. Now here I'm putting some purple down and you can put any other colors down on the vine to to add some interest so that it's not just one color and most of the colors will sink into the white except gold I usually like to put gold on my vines and gold paints tend to float to the top and that's a good thing I don't mind that my stick and start poking at it. So I'm going double time here. If I could speed it up anymore, I would. I wish I could do that with iMovie, but it only allows me to double my time but that is the same process as the first vine just just pulling out the leaves shaping them and there's no mystery to it and you don't have to use white to make your vines you can use other colors but just make sure that the colors are high contrast so that it will show on the, from the background it, so it doesn't just fade into the wallpaper or, unless that's what you want if you want it to be just part of the background that's fine but usually when i make these leaves or these vines i want them to show because that's part of the composition, that's kind of part of the focus. And usually white or black are good color choices because they are the highest contrast in most cases. Okay, so this is done. I'm done with this painting. Here's a close-up. Look at those beautiful red lacing and 
those intricate red between the green and the blue. It almost looks like a tree rainbow. So this is it. I hope you liked the painting. And I also want to take a moment to thank you all the subscribers that come into my channel. I really appreciate your support. And if you're new to this, please subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day.